you know, why don't people communicate more? And then, of course, you ask that to anybody. What has happened to -to face-to-face communication? Why don't people communicate more? And what happens? Of course, oh, it's the phones. It's the cell phones. It's the texting. It's the social media. Everybody wants instant gratification and quick responses. And you know what? That's a part of it. There's no question about it. But it's way deeper than that. And a lot of it comes down to people not knowing how to have certain conversations. And think about scenarios like this. I was talking to my partner in crime, Ted, before the show, and he was talking about under-communicating and over-communicating. So think about this, right? When you're making a decision on whether to talk to someone about something, how to talk to them, whether to do so, do I over-communicate? Do I, should I say this? Should I not say this? How will they take it? Will they think I'm being high maintenance? Will they think I'm being over? Will they think I'm overreacting? Will they think I'm being pushy? All these questions start to filter in. Oh yeah, I better not do that. So now I'm in under communicate mode. So better not say anything because I don't want to trigger them and I don't want them to react. But the problem with under communicating, that right there, under communicating, is one of the greatest factors that is contribu- contributing to a lot of anxiety, stress, and emotional problems people are having. Because what's happened, Ted, what happens when you under-communicate? You internalize. 